Happy New Year. You too, Coach. Uh, I thought, uh, first of all, it's great to be back at the Seagull Center. We hadn't played here for over two weeks. And our guys did a nice job uh, in the two neutral site uh, games that we had. And our fans were great and, and uh, loud and energetic, but there's, there's nothing like being here on our home floor. Um, so it, it was great to be back. I thought uh, tonight our guys hung in there really well after you know some struggles in the first half offensively. Uh, on the defensive end, we, we really played a good half of defense with a couple exceptions in the second half. And uh, I thought Briante did a great job leading the way. Um, just played with a real clear head. It was all about making the team win. And uh, when he does that, he's really good. Chuck, when you go into halftime, they have 13 turnovers, and it's a close game, and it's back and forth. Do you go in with some kind of confidence that in the next 20 minutes, you guys are going to wear them down, and it's going to start to come a little easier? Well, that's the plan. Uh, you know, you hope that there will be a cumulative effect on, on the opponent's legs. Uh, but you can't just hope. I mean, you got to continue to make it happen, and you got to. I think the first five minutes of the second half is really, really key. Uh, just with, with our style of play, a team has to feel like, well, they're not going anywhere. You know, it's it's the, the pressure is going to continue. And uh, I thought our guys did a really good job of that tonight. Coach, is it just waiting for that cumulative effect, like for the dam to break, or were there? Did you guys make any major adjustments at halftime that made a difference? We made a few adjustments. I, I think our guys uh, settled down offensively and uh, you know played with a little bit more poise, um, so that that helps. But you know on the defensive end, it was just a matter of making sure that we contained the ball handler a little bit better and uh, you know keeping guys in front of us. Um, and I thought again for a stretch there, I don't think they scored for I don't know seven minutes or so, and that really allowed us to extend the lead. Coach Brief is always the past couple of years. Brief and Spark Club make him in off the bench. But tonight, is it the best, maybe the most comfortable you've seen him in his new role? He's been good uh, lately. Uh, he's he's been really seems like he's been comfortable. Um, and the guy's been a really good player for us his whole his whole career. You know, he he probably of anyone in our program uh, had the most impactful freshman year. Uh, not necessarily just from a scoring standpoint, but he play, he's played the most and, uh, you know, just impacting winning. Now he's a junior and he's assumed a uh, leadership role. He's done a better job of that of late, understanding that, uh, like tonight, hey, it's not necessarily about me getting my game off. You know, it's about me creating shots for other guys. Uh, and then what happened was he went to the foul line nine times and he, he gets gets some opportunities for pull-ups and, and layups, and uh, now all of a sudden he has 14 points. Any other questions? Coach, what do you think about that animal affecting the shot some of the night? The animal, huh? I'm not sure I follow The stew. Oh, the stew. The, the band. No, uh, the band's awesome. Uh, the crowd is terrific. Uh, I told, turned to Mike Morrell. Before the game, you know, this is Mike's third season, and I said, "No, it must be you because every game you've been at at home, you've, you've sold out." <laughs> but I think they call that in research methods confounding. That's two things. That, uh, but anyway, uh, it's the crowd's awesome. Uh, we're, we're very, very fortunate. There's, you know, it's, crisp, uh, it's still break, and our students are on. Uh, away from classes, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, the, from the standpoint of the crowd being being full, it, it matters. We love having them here. But um, 42 straight sellouts, it just, it's just a very special place to be. And it, quite frankly, it helps us win. 
Uh, you know, we this was our first game at home in 2014. Uh, in 2013, somebody told me this the other day, right before New Year's. We won every game at home except one. So, I mean, that's a lot of credit for that goes to our fans and, and the support that we have and, and for our guys to go out and execute. Coach, at the end of the first half there, you called timeout, which is about five seconds left. What, what were you going through your mind? What were you trying to draw that? Well, I told the official, because there was about a five or six, seven second differential, I said, if we get the ball back, I'm going to call timeout uh, because we had a couple of, of our better offensive players on the bench. I want to put them in. Trey and Melvin, and then you know if, if we called timeout quick enough, we could kind of draw something up, and uh, that's what we did. And Bree did a good job making the play. Coach, are there things you're seeing out of Bree these last you know few games that, that maybe he wasn't there yet with early on in the season? Well, he's still not all the way there. Uh, we we got to be careful with Bree to ever feel like we're all the way there, right, Brooks? Um, but uh, it's got to always be a work in progress. I think, you know, to be honest with you, with Bree, the most important thing, and I would say this is true with Travion Graham, it's true with Javante Reddick, is you ever seen those Dove commercials? Is being comfortable in your, his own skin. You know? <laughs> it's, I'm serious. I mean, oh, if, a shot. If, if, <laughs> if, if he can, you know, and I think he's more comfortable tonight, he looked comfortable in his own skin. He's out there playing, he's not forcing anything, he's getting guys shots, he feels good about his role and what he's doing. The more comfortable he is, he's a good player. He's been, been a good player here for three years, and he's a talented guy, and he's a, he is a devil to deal with on defense. And I would not want to. Not want to play against that guy. So, but again, he's not all the way there yet. So we just got to keep making progress. Coach, uh, Terrence, 14 minutes tonight. Rob said that he was in here about the practice week that Terrence has had. Yeah. What, what did you notice this past week from him? He's terrific. He said we have this thing called the effort chart, Wes, in practice that measures. It's a bunch of it's like 15 different good things you can do, and then there's two negatives on there. So if you have a negative number, you. You, you have to be comatose to not have something positive. Uh, so all the guys have, you know, 8, 10, 12. A good number would be 15 in a practice. T set an effort chart record. Uh, two days ago in practice, he had a 31 on our effort chart, which is the most we've ever had. So he had a great week of practice, and it, it's something that, uh, you know, we, we felt like we can carry that over into the game. He came here to play, you know, and he wants to play more and make a bigger impact, and he can, and he's a very talented guy. So this was a real big step, not just tonight, but the practices leading up to tonight, and, and I hope we can keep it going. Doc, can you talk about what you, you were able to play a bigger lineup with him in their time tonight? With yeah. Javante and what that does for you and, and the way they play together? Well, there's benefits of playing big, and there's benefits of playing small. Uh, tonight, you know, Stony Brook was a team that mostly played two traditional big guys. Uh, so, you know, from a matchup standpoint, it makes more sense uh, defensively sometimes to, to play your big lineup. Uh, you should be bigger and stronger around the basket. You should rebound better. You should block more shots when you have a big lineup. I think it helps Javante, you know, so he's not always having to lean on and bang with. Uh, the big, strong, biggest, strongest guy on the other team. Any other questions? Thanks. 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 Thanks.